Hi Leo, this is your horoscope for June 2017. Now, from the 24th of May going through until the 10th of June, Venus, the planet of love and beauty, begins to conjunct Uranus, the planet of rebellion and eccentricity, and they blend their energies together. They both are sitting in the sign of Aries, which is about moving ahead and blasting obstacles out of your way, and that's in your ninth house sitting right on top of the midheaven okay so what that means is that you're going to have a huge desire to make progress to and it could manifest itself differently in different leos watching this so some of you will have a desire to really educate yourself and to learn a new skill and to if you're rejected your application or enrollment has been rejected, you will continue pu pushing and pushing until you get what it is you want. Other Leos may experience a huge desire to travel and to um, experience the world in a physical sense by traveling and exploring and going to places you haven't been before. And some of you guys will experience this unique desire to start your own business, to become self-employed. And to make it happen now all three options are great and I encourage you to do all of those things before the 10th of May because they will give you a huge sense of fulfillment and more, more importantly with those two planets being in Aries you succeeding is almost guaranteed so it's really a good month for you to start pushing through obstacles and to start doing the things which uh, fire you up but also that are going to have a positive long-term effect on you for the future of your life. So if you start, you know, a new business, self-employed, that's going to have a long-term effect on you that's positive. On the 5th of June, Mars, the archetypal male principle, moves into Cancer and it stays in Cancer all month. Now, Mars is in your 12th house. And Mars doesn't particularly like being in Cancer. Mars is about um, taking action. It rules Aries, okay? So it's about pushing forward. It's what I want, when I want it, I want it now. It's the male principle. Cancer is very female, it's very intuitive, and it's not about moving forward. It's much more about staying in the domestic sphere and nurturing, okay? So the real, the real, power that you'll have here or the real sense of motivation that causes you to travel or start your own business or to take risks is Mars and Cancer in your 12th because spiritually it will frustrate you and it will say I am not moving fast enough things aren't progressing as quickly as I want and that then causes you to push to get things moving deliberately again I don't I don't think this is a red flag. I don't think I need to warn you about that because I see that if you do push and if you do communicate and you move ahead, that you will succeed. Jupiter, the lucky planet, is in your third house of communication all month in Libra. Okay, So remember, Leo, that when you speak to people, when you uh, demand, not demand, but if you ask something, if you ask for an opportunity or if you, if you look if there's any... Any kind of way that you can make something happen for yourself via another person, this is the month to do it because people will like you and they will want to support you and they will want to help you. On the 6th of June, Venus, the planet of love and beauty, moves into Taurus and that's in your 10th house. So Venus in Taurus is very earthy, it's very practical. You're going to ask yourself, what is it that I do for work? Do I love what I'm doing? You've also got Mercury sitting in Taurus in your 10th house. So you're going to experience these things in a very earthy, grounded, physical way. So when it comes to your work, it's not about overthinking and saying, do I love this job? Do I enjoy it? Listen to your feelings, listen to your body and see how your body reacts when you go into the office building, for example. 
that's what's going to really easily give you the answers that you're looking for because you will feel it within your body. So if you walk into that building and your posture straightens up and you get a sense of excitement and you march in there and it's like, okay, it's time to work, let's go for it, that's great, you're in the right thing. But as soon as you see the building, you slump together a little bit, it's like, okay, I've got eight hours of this and then I can go home. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Something needs to change and something needs to be altered. And that Mars and Cancer in your 12th will ensure that you don't just dismiss that sense of frustration, which a lot of us do. You know, a lot of us stay in jobs we don't like and we dismiss that voice that says, change the job, change the job, change the job. And we just say, well, it's fixed, it's convenient. And we dismiss that. Leo, please don't dismiss these messages here in June because you really have the potential to progress and to move ahead. From the 7th of June, going through until the 21st of June, Mercury, the planet of communication, moves into Gemini. Now Mercury rules Gemini, so it couldn't be any happier. And Mercury is in your 11th house of social networks, your own personal hopes and dreams. And what's also sitting in that 11th house is your mid transiting midheaven, which is about work, and your sun in Gemini, which is your identity. Okay, so what you're concerned with is really discovering what your vocational plans are, how that's going to you're going to think about the type of work that's going to make you feel fulfilled in your life. What can I do that's going to be enjoyable, that will pay me well, and that will also allow me to be challenged and use my intellect and my mind? That's, I mean, I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but that's what June is about. It's, I'm frustrated, I'm looking at what my other options are, I want to experience something new, and it's really time for me to kind of step into my own power, to listen to my thinking, to stop dismissing it, and to start taking action on it. So from the 7th until the 21st, you will really be able to hear your own messages really clearly, whether it's through your physical body or your ideas, you can trust what's going on inside, okay? We don't always know that we can trust our own inner guidance. This month, certainly, you can trust that Jupiter is good luck. It would not give you information that is faulty or that would make your life more difficult. So it's okay to make changes. On the 9th of June, we have the full moon in Sagittarius. I will make a separate video on the full moon and the new moon. I do every month because these are a little bit complex and I go into more detail here. But for Leo, this full moon in Sag is going to happen in your fifth house of romantic relationships. So around the 8th, 9th and 10th of June, you may experience that something positive appears in your romantic life. If you're out and about, that you uh, bump into someone or you uh, meet someone who joins you in your travels, but there's um, a definite coming together or the potential for some sort of romantic connection here around the 8th, 9th and 10th of June. So work and your hopes and dreams are going to be a big theme for you here in June. But working behind the scenes around the time of the full moon is the opportunity for love to come in as well. So just be aware of that. It's not the main theme of the whole month. The main theme of the month is for you to realize your um, aspirations work-wise. But the love thing during the full moon is a nice added benefit and bonus. So just be aware of that. Now on the 16th of June, going through all the way until the 22nd of November, Neptune, the planet of dreams and aspirations, goes retrograde. Now, uh, Neptune is in Pisces. It is very powerful in Pisces because it rules that sign and it can... It can uh, you, it can shed its energy and it can it can allow you to access these higher realms of knowledge and to think about what you're aspiring towards and what you're dreaming about it's in your eighth house which means 
what are my dreams when it comes to work how I work, in what institution I work, whether I work independently or whether I work for a company or an institution as an employee. And what's going to happen with Neptune going retrograde, Neptune is the one planet that becomes even more powerful when it's in retrograde because it's passive. So let me explain. Neptune is dreams and aspirations and it's about getting information into your system. Okay, it's like the high priestess in the tower. She doesn't do anything. She just sits there and receives. It's very passive. So when a planet goes retrograde, it appears to be going backwards, making it even more passive. So in Neptune's case, it receives even more information. And what you'll find is that you're getting bombarded from every side that is going to give you the answer about your working life and what you ought to be doing in future. Um, some people don't know what they're feeling at certain times. Some people don't know what they're good at. Some people don't know what they would like to do for work. You know, these things aren't just guaranteed and we all have access to them. This month for you is magical in a sense because Neptune is working towards that. Uranus and Venus, Mercury, the Midheaven and the Sun, they're all working towards you getting a better understanding of what's going to happen in your career in future and how you can shape that so it's a compatible lifestyle. So spend some time with that. I always believe in writing things down, the messages and the insights that you get this month. Keep a little journal, it can just be a piece of paper, and write down the things, the hopes and dreams that come up and that you may want to pursue. You can then do that through a process of elimination and see what's most important to you. But the big important thing for you, Leo, is not to rush around all month, to give yourself quiet time every now and again and to tune in and to really ask yourself what makes me feel passionate, what makes me feel alive and I've got an idea now, am I going to act on it or not? So this is a very personal month for you that's all about transformation and change and you can make that happen so that your life works more effectively. Also on the 16th of June, going through until the 5th of July, Mars sitting in Cancer in your 12th house begins to try Neptune. Okay, so Mars is that motivation, that frustrated sense of I've got to change something. It's 120 degrees away from Neptune, so it blends its energy with Neptune. Neptune will hear that and say, Oh my goodness, this Leo really wants some answers. Let's provide these answers. So you'll get a lot of stuff in. So get ready for a flood of information that is really, really useful. And that you can trust. On the 21st of June, Mercury, the planet of communication, moves into Cancer and that's in your 12th house. Uh, you will be very in touch with your feelings now at the end of the month. You have discerned and you have tried to listen to your own inner voice. By the time the 21st comes around, you will have tuned in so much that you're actually hearing it. The answers start to appear now. The answers start to trickle in. This is what I'm going to do. I feel a certain way about it. I know this is what I love. I'm now going to pursue this. Then on the 24th of June, we have the new moon happening in Cancer. And that just heightens that process even more. Because a new moon, and I will make a separate video on this to give you all the in-depth influences. But... A new moon pulls Cancer energy in to start its new monthly cycle. It happens in your 12th house and you will absolutely be clear on what works for you and what doesn't. And at this stage of June, you'll have a game plan when it comes to your career in future. Now, if you're someone who's a student, then this is an important process for you as well. Because if you've started a course and you no longer enjoy that, listen to your insights and say that maybe saying that actually I didn't want to do medicine, I wanted to do law, or I didn't want to be a dentist, I actually wanted to, do, to study um, physical therapy, okay? So 
It's important for students to listen to that, not to quit the course, but to rather than finish a course then, that you do not like, use your credits, change the subject and finish a degree in something that you do care about. If you're retired, you will get information about what it is you can do in your retirement that will make you feel alive and passionate and excited about things. So it's what you're working on regardless of what period of your life you're in. So that's what I get for you here in June. I hope it gives you something to go on. If you would like a private reading with me, please visit the website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. And what I can do is I can draw up your birth chart by looking at your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth. If you don't have the time of birth, I can use sunrise. And then we can look at this. It's a blueprint of your soul. I can look at what your vocational aptitudes are. I can look at what your life purpose is. We can look at your strengths and weaknesses. What's coming up in future by putting the transits around your birth chart. If you're interested in that, please get in touch with me. And also, if you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel. All you need to do is click the button. It's really easy to do and it makes a huge difference to my life. So if you do want to support me, then please click the subscribe button. I hope you have a wonderful June and I will speak to you next month.